My spasticity started relatively quickly after the injury within the first few months. At the beginning, it wasn't too bad. I was able to control it. And as the years went by, it just kept gradually getting worse and worse and worse. It really affected what I could do. It would wake me up in the middle of the night. I was like a board, really stiff. Not painful, but a really uncomfortable feeling. It would affect my life when I'm traveling. It would affect my life when I was working and teaching. It just prevented me from really doing things. So spasticity happens after an upper motor neuron lesion, and it's usually treated um, pharmaceutically with medications, antispasmodics. There aren't a, a lot out there. Usually it's baclofen, tizanidine, uh, dantrolene, and old school diazepam. This is you, Arun Verma. Mm -hmm. We are going to put in 30 mils of baclofen. So baclofen is an inhibitory um, neurotransmitter or message in the central nervous system to relax muscle contractions. Baclofen can be administered orally first. Arun, I'm going to interrogate your pump right now. The other way is intrathecally through a pump. And usually um, that dose is 100 times less than oral baclofen. When I took the oral baclofen, I went from starting at a relatively moderate dose to a high dose. I didn't notice it really did much, to be honest. The main side effect of baclofen is sedation, and so we can't escalate the dose more if they're having those side effects. Once you've exhausted those treatment options and it's still refractory and you cannot tolerate more antispasmodic medications because of sedation, then we would consider um, an intrathecal baclofen. I'm going to put the device down and we will start on the refill, okay? I knew all about the baclofen pump way back when I first got hurt in, in 1988. But I didn't think it was right for me at the time. It came to a point about four years ago that I really needed it. I needed something to help with my specificity. So Dr. Boo just kept reminding me it's out there. So we decided to trial it and it worked really well. But I still resisted going to a pump because I really didn't know much about how it was going to be inserted in the body. An intrathecal baclofen pump looks like this. It's the size of a hockey puck. And this is the little septum that the medicine goes into. And it's surgically implanted underneath the skin in the subcutaneous layer. So the medicine goes out of the catheter and it ends up in the CSF or cerebral spinal fluid. The medicine can last for up to six months before you need another refill. So you come into the clinic, we have to withdraw the old medication, and then we inject the, the new medication, and then you're good to go for another six months. To be honest, I don't even know I have it in me. All I know is I'm spasm-free. My children can jump on top of me and we can play around quite easily. When I teach, when I work, I can move around. And even in this interview here, we're talking. Before I was spasm so much, here I'm not even moving at all. It's just made my life so much easier and better to live. You know, we have moms, dads, Olympians with the pump, and I feel like the pump and the medication has gotten them, you know, out of their beds and having to deal with spasticity, so it's a good service. Don't do what I did, sort of hold up to the last minute. Try to get it as soon as possible. You know, it really makes a big difference in your life.